Rock out on my Instagram, DJ underscore bless one. Rapper the game got something to say to women out there, men out there. And he's going in on his responses, the way he's doing it, the way he's speaking about it. The game has grown up and elevated to something different. Now, before we get to all these expediences and show you all these great responses, receipts by the game, let's go to the actual receding questions that he's giving now the game said like this let's normalize normalize that is being normal you don't need a chanel bag or a bbl to be considered beautiful and feel like you're more of a woman and my negrums working a regular job and driving a cool little whip is still cool as fuck to me stop letting this social media ish f up your y'all heads up i mean when you read that when he's saying stop letting this social media mess up your head i gotta salute the game a lot of people don't love themselves no more a lot of people are looking at this materialistic world and thinking that's what it is i'm sitting back and looking at the scenario and understanding that game is not just speaking from an emotional standpoint or anything like that the game is actually giving the game to people from a game standpoint no pun intended and if only those willing to catch what the game is speaking what the game is saying then you too will understand where the game is coming from now when game makes this revelation a lot of people are not liking it a lot of people misunderstand it you gotta look at the undertones and where he's coming with it he's more trying to tell people to love themselves love who you are be who you are you don't have to make it into something that's uncomfortable and you're now having to be somebody else you know what i mean you got to understand the life that you're living in the world right now now game not being shy of who he is and what he say and what he do game steadily preaches this and he doesn't stop it he continues this what you call it pattern of preaching to people people can say what they want to him but he has words that echoes a lot of us understand and care no matter what uh you know what type of class you're in or what race or whatever what your finance or, or your financial situation is it's like everybody is gonna go through their own shit that's why no one you know no one man struggle is bigger than the next no matter where what the tax bracket is. so um yeah so yeah you had some of them days man i'm just saying when you had them days don't fuck with the shrooms man that shit might fuck around turn you into motherfucking blanc on the street i might have been happier when i was fucking broke to be honest um, it's like Big said, like, more money, more problems, you know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, I might have been happier when I was broke. Not saying I'm not happy now. It took a minute for me to get to this point I am now because, you know, the music industry <clears throat> wasn't all I thought what it was cracked up to be. It's a bunch of, like, smoke and mirrors, a bunch of fake shit, fake niggas, fake See, he's telling you about the fake world. He's letting you know about his feelings and what the situation is like. So I salute a man like the game. If you don't like who he is, at least appreciate the message that's being given. That's the least you can do being a human being. The message is somewhat to my standpoint of the way life needs to be. Look, man, I'm your God bless one. Thank you for watching another episode of I Smoke Hip Hop Live. Go to my Instagram, DJ underscore bless one and rock out with the most winning this team out here gang up in this bed